Hi guys, my name is Gavin, and this will be a tutorial on how to constantly save game info um, with Python and the Blender Game Engine. This will pretty much be like my other tutorials I made on save game info. We won't actually be loading anything, but we will be saving things constantly. Alright, now I'm just going to get started. So to start off like in my other tutorials, let's so right-click in the middle and create a new folder for, this, for all these files right here. Now I'm just going to call this Game Scripts Tutorial, I don't know save or something like that just something like that doesn't really matter what you name it and when we open up this blender file let's just immediately save it to that folder I'm gonna go to my desktop dream script tutorial save all right I'll just name this as blend project under project all right we're good all right now what we're gonna do is inside of that folder again so open up this folder let's right click and create a new um, text document I'm just going to call this game info like that. Game info. And just, it's going to be a notepad document, but just leave it blank for now. Just leave it like that. And let's now go into our game logic view. Let's do file, or actually, let's do um, defaults to game logic and go from Blender render to Blender game. What we're going to do down here is add a sensor always and make sure your cube has, um, is right clicked. And let's do add a sensor mouse. Name this mouse sensor as click, like that. Click tap and minimize this. We're now going to do data controller and Python right here and connect these. All right, let's now add a game property. So add a game property, change it from floats to integer. Let's call it clicks like this. Click this I and let's do game and then show debug properties. And if we hit P to play, you should see in the top left corner of your game view, it says debug properties, cube clicks equals zero. All right, that's good. Now what we're going to do is let's drag this out over here. Let's create a script for our game. So let's do text and create text block. Hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. The first thing that we're going to do is import the BGE. Then from the BGE, import logic. And just like our other save games tutorial, the other save game videos, we have to actually be able to communicate with scripts outside of Blender. Let's do path is going to equal logic.expand path. Like that, and we're going to define a save function. Now, what we're going to do is we need to get the controller and the owner into the script. So let's do const is going to equal bg.logic gets current controller. Like that. Let's have own is going to equal const.owner. All right, we now want to have a variable that um, pretty much opens up that the um, the game saved in or the game info folder. So we want to be able to access this file right here. That's what we want to access. Let's do game file is going to equal open path plus game info.txt. Let's make it readable just by hitting R. And if you remember, let's scroll that out. If you remember, the game file is always a text document, so you have to have that txt at the end of it. All right, what we're now going to do is have a variable clicks. So let's have this variable clicks is going to be equal to a string version. Actually, let's not do that yet. We're going to have clicks is going to equal own clicks, that game property we made um, a few minutes ago, like that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to write inside of the, the game info.txt, we're going to do game file dot write. And we're going to do a string version of clicks. Because you, um, you have to input those. Um, Whenever you write inside one of these files, it has to be a, um, a string. All right, we're done with that function. Let's now define a main function. So define main like this. And what we're going to do is inside its main function, just like the one above, we're going to get the controller and the owner. So cont is going to equal bg.logic gets current controller. I'll actually full screen this for a minute. And we're going to do own is going to equal consta owner like that. Next, we're going to get this click sensor into our script by doing click is going to equal consta sensors click like that. Now, what we're going to do is at the very very bottom, we want to just have main like this, and that'll tell the um that'll tell the Python sensor it's just going to run every time. What we're going to do before that is have if click dot positive. We're going to add one to that game property. 
So we're going to do own clicks. We're going to plus equal one. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is we want it so that once it's at the end of the main function, it's going to call this save function like this. And in turn, it's going to do all this information like, you know, open the path, um, apply the variable clicks to clicks. And it's going to write inside of that text document the value for what our clicks variable is. All right. So if we were to hit, um, if we were to drag, actually, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to rename this as um, gameinfo.py or something like that. And add that right here. Now, if we were to hit P to play, click a couple of times, we can see that that clicks variable in the corner is going up to 16, 17, 18 right now. If we hit escape. We should be able to go back into that text document over here. And if we double click on it, we see actually there's nothing there for now. I think there's an error. Let me check. Line 11. Let's go back up. Oh, make sure that this is um, a W because we want to be able to actually edit it. Not make, we, just, we don't want to actually just read it. We want to edit it. So, sorry, that was my bad. If we hit play and click a couple of times, we can see the number is now on seven. And if we open up the game info, we should see there's now a seven inside of our game info notepad documents. And if we hit play again, let's go to, let's say, 13. If we open up that folder again, we should see the number is at 13. All right, guys, so that's how you can automatically update um, your saved game info. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. But yeah, I'll just pan out so you guys can see the script the one more second. I'll full screen this. Drag this down. Drag this out. Alright guys, have a good day.